Do you want to increase your FPS and decrease your delay? Then I'm introducing you to the external free ticking utility, a tool designed to improve your PC performance in any game for free. So make sure you watch till the end. Now let's dive in. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to your browser and search externalbeats.com and then hit enter. Once you do that, you'll be taken to our website. Then click on download now and then click on download now. So this should take you to the download section in our Discord server, which is here. Then just click on download and then it will take you to our recognize page, which then you have to do these two steps to get the utility. Okay, so once you've done both steps, just click on unlock link. Then what you want to do now is just click on download again and drag it to your desktop just like this. Now, what you do now is right click, press extract all, then extract. Then you should have the launcher right here, so open it up and it should look like this. Look for the external launcher exe and now just click run as admin. Once you're done, it should look like this. I should say download now. So now click on it. Click the your select your directory and then just click on install and then give it a second to load. Once it's done, just click on launch now and then the app should open. Yeah, so once you have downloaded the utility, it should look just like this. You say continue with Disco, continue with Google, and you can manually create an account. It's up to you what you want to use. But for my case, I'm going to use continue with Discord. So now what you want to do is just click continue with Discord. Then just click on authorize. And then once you're done, you say all done. You can safely close this window. And then she say login successful, then press OK. Now give it a second to load. And it should look just like this. You have your avatar, your name, and all relevant settings. So now you should have your avatar, your name, and everything else. So you can see reviews. They're all here. They're all re real reviews. They're not butted. As you can manually write one, you can click how many stars you want to do. And then you can write a review. And then they all go to the Discord as well. So they get sent to the Discord once a review is created. So we got an uh, update log where you can see updates. These are mainly for major updates. When we do major updates, we update these. Look actions. And then, yeah. So what I recommend you to do is click on create a backup. And I mm -hmm. click on yes and I press OK. So then to create the backup, just click on create. And then select the name for the restore point. Which I highly recommend to do just in case anything happens to your computer after plenty tweaks. So then once you create one, you should be good to go. And then when you want to use it, when you want to use the one, just click on system restore. And then select which restore point you want to use and then press OK. And then, yeah, so we got a key section. This key section is basically when you redeem a key, you unlock, unlock more, more tweaks on general and hardware sections. So there'll be more tweaks on the latency, KBM, power, give a second to load, power, network, give a second to load. There'll be more, more tweaks below. But then, since we're gonna stick with the free version i'm gonna show you the free version so what you want to do is click on general and then click on windows so these are all the windows tweaks we do update it quite frequently and then yeah so we go performance privacy and privacy and security speed and efficiency and pro only tweaks and then yeah so what i recommend you to do is apply basically all the free tweaks on the windows and then yeah since we're in the free version it shouldn't take you too long to apply all the tweaks so then now you can move on to the latency now we have a couple of tweaks for latency obviously the pro has more but then like i said before we're gonna stick with the free version so what you want to do here is just click on apply and then just select all of these just apply all of the tweaks Once you get to this section, just click on apply and it should set time and resolution for you. And it should apply for you and then press OK once you're done. Then after that, just go to the KBM section. So this is optional, this key repeat delay. So when you type how after how fast it repeats, basically. So you can make it short, you can make it long, but I'll just keep it short and I click apply. So then now you can apply these keyboard tweaks. Then for mouse sensitivity, I recommend you just to leave it at default. Unless you want to make it faster, you can swipe, swipe it to the right or swipe it to the left, make it slower. So then just apply the rest of these KBM tweaks. 
so now we can move on to power and then also i recommend when you're reading so when you're applying to make sure you read the description of what it does just in case you don't want to specifically disable something but well, pretty much every tweak in the utility should be safe to apply so now what you want to do is just apply these two tweaks this disables telemetry restrictions and then disables energy save mode that is okay and then you can just apply the rest of these tweaks so once you're done with this you can move to the network section which will look just like this it might take a couple seconds to load because it's loading all, the, all of these things into the app so you can display it but then yeah so for this dns thing it's up to you whether you want to use google cloudflare or code 9 or you can just click on fast test you just click on apply and it should apply the most fastest one for you I'll give it a second to load so it says code 9 is the fastest for me but for most people i do recommend using google or cloudflare in my case i'm just going to use google and then you should be good to go so then now we've got ping and jitter so just select whether you use ethernet wi-fi or bluetooth as you can see i'm using wi-fi just use wi-fi and then give it a second to load okay so once it loads it should look just like this so then what you want to do is here is just go through each of these each of these options and then it should have a recommended value like this and it will say like disable or enable and then yeah so then once you're done just uncheck this and then just click up apply but obviously i haven't made any changes because i've already done this before but then you guys will have to make the changes so after this you can move on to the reason delay and you can just apply all of these tweaks so once you're done you can move on to the hardware section give it a second to load and then once you do that it should look just like this so just set it to the max and just click apply and then what you want to do is yeah it's just you can import our external free power plan if you want to and then you can also delete plans so then once you do that obviously we already have the external free plan you just click on import now and then click on refresh and then it should have a new plan external free power plan if you don't have it already and then what you want to do is just here yeah, is just click apply and it should enable the power plan so now you can do the cpu tweaks then we can move to the gpu section so for gpu kind of basic unless you upgrade plan we, you get more options and then you just click on the max apply and then you do all of this you also get a nip i think optimized as well so then yeah just apply all these tweaks too just give the nip file a bit to load to look like, like this and then just press ok and then after that you can move to the hardware section so this includes your ssd hdd and ram so kind of basic as well just apply all of these tweaks this might take a while but then it should be done just like this then press ok and you can apply the rest of these tweaks so after you do this section you're nearly halfway there so you can go to server booster server booster is basically for people who boost the server so if you haven't boosted the server you won't be able to lock it but if you do boost the server you can unlock it now let's move on to the game booster so game boosters are basically game tweaks so you can select your game for example i play fortnite so i'm gonna select fortnite and then once you do just click on fortnite and then you should start applying the tweaks just give it a second to load Once that's done, you can move on to the next one, BIOS. Once you enter the BIOS page, it should look just like this. But obviously, it's for Pro users only. So, basically, how it works is you select your BIOS setting and then it should have a recommended value. And then, yeah, you just follow this and then it should help you apply all the BIOS to some BIOS to FPS by a lot. But we're going to stick with the free version today. So, now just move to the cleanup section to so debloat. And then, what you want to do here is just click on scan now. And then once you do that, just give it a second to load. So once you do that, it should look just like this. You can uninstall selected apps. And then just click on the app you want to uninstall. Then just click on uninstall selected. I recommend you to uninstall basically all of them apart from Microsoft Store. But then yeah. 
I wouldn't uninstall this, but I want to show you guys the rest, so I'll do it later. So now, once you do that, you just click on apps. So what you want to do once you get to this page is basically you can either uninstall or force remove selected apps. And then for this page right here, just click on debloat for any app you want to debloat. But since I'm recording, I'm not going to do that. I'll do that later. Then once you're done, just click on services and then you can disable some services here. So when you want to disable, just click enable to enable the service. Just give it a second to load. And when you want to disable, you can just click on disable and then you disable it just like that. So then after that, you can go to the clean section. So clean section, you just give it a second to load all the resources. Once it's loaded, it should look just like this. So now what you want to do is just select all of these. And then after I just click on clean selected and then yes and then it should take a couple of minutes so once it's done it should look just like this and just click on okay should refresh if there is some leftover files it's you should leave it because sometimes you won't be able to delete every single bit but then we deleted the majority so that's fine so now you come over to fixes so if you do face any of these issues just click on any section, just click on it and then it should re-enable the service. And that's pretty much it. So then yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If you want to leave a review, you can leave a review right here. And then yeah, see you guys in the next one.